If you are looking for an easy steps on how to plan for an event, then you click the right video because today I'm going to tell you exactly how I plan Kara's birthday party. So keep on watching. Hello everyone, my name is Melody and welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since my last upload and today I'm going to share to you how I plan Kara's birthday party. Also, I will share to you who were the suppliers that helped me to make it a successful event. So without further ado, the first step is to know your budget. Whether you're planning for an extravagant or a simple event, um, always remember to know your budget so you, so you have a limit on how much you can spend. Next step is to make your calendar. So you decide whether you'd like to have it on a weekend or the date itself, the birthday, the birth date itself. The next step is to set a theme for the party. For Kara, uh, for Kara's birthday, we chose a feminine, simple, dreamy, and candyish theme, and we asked Kathy's sister event styling by April Gretchen Derilo. She is very good guys. Um, here in Kage in the Oro, I think she is the number one event styling when it comes to children's party. And looking at the result of the party, I knew I made the right decision of choosing her. If you're done setting a theme for the party, then proceed with the venue. For Kara's birthday, we considered so many things in choosing a venue. First, the accessibility. It's very important. Traffic-wise, here in Cagayan and the Oro, um, it should be accessible for, ev uh, for every guest. And then, second is if it, if it can accommodate um the guests that we would like to invite and then third um the corkage it's very important and lastly um the food if they can provide the food or you still need to look for a caterer oh one more thing um you should also consider whether you'd like to have it indoor or outdoor and the theme that you chose for the party considering all those we chose Mulberry Suites Business Hotel because it's very accessible, guys. Um, whether you have a car or not, you can go there easily. Next is they really can accommodate our guests because they have plenty of um, function halls that we can choose from. Uh, they have um, basing on the reviews, their their food is good, and the core cage is not really that expensive and it suits our budget what else oh one thing also that i love about mulberry suites is that they give us free accommodation if you're done with the venue then you can now start printing the invitation it's up to you whether you'd like to make your own invitation or you can have someone to do it for you for kara's birthday we chose isg print ideas they're really good guys uh i just presented them the sample template for, uh, of what Kara's invitation be like and after I think 15 to 30 minutes they they sent me the feedback together with the sample layout and promised me to have it done in a week and that's it. When we plan Kara's birthday party we really chose not to have parlor games, magic shows, bubble shows simply because we wanted it to be a night of conversation, a gathering, um, catching up with our family and friends over some food and drinks. And if we have parlor games, then I think it will defeat the purpose of the night. Simply because um, it's kind of loud when you have parlor games, right? So, um, but we're kind of hesitant to do it because we were thinking, how can we entertain the kids? That is why we decided to 
to have a mobile playground instead. And we chose the Happy Space mobile playground. They're really good. Uh, they have plenty of toys, they have ball pits, swing, they have art materials, they have building blocks. Uh, one thing also, they have two attendants and the owner itself was really there to watch over the kids. Another add-on was the dessert buffet. I chose Simple Joy's Bakery and Cafe because I really love their desserts. Uh, very tasty, flavorful, creamy, sweet but not too sweet. Um, you have to try their macaroons, their um, opera cake, and the cookies. Simply the best. Next is to make a program just to um, just to see the flow of the party. Uh, for Kara's birthday, I wanted it short and simple. I want the program to be short and simple. So we 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 had a opening prayer. I asked my friend also. Um, I, uh, I I asked my friend to do the opening prayer at the same time as I asked her to um, give speak of blessings for Kara on her first birthday. And thank you for this wonderful day that you have given us, Kara Zorel. Thank you, O oh Lord, that she has grown up to be a healthy and lovable toddler, O oh Lord. Thank you for protecting her for the first 12 months of her life. And then, Jairo welcomed the guest. Thank you for coming. I'm so happy that we're celebrating the first birthday of Kara. And Kara is such a blessing to us. And then a short video, uh, it was really not short, I think it's 15 minutes, uh, a, a video presentation of Kara's milestone, and then dinner, that's it. The next step that you should do is to decide whether you ha you'll have a photographer or not. Uh, I knew that I will be... I knew that I will be very busy during Kara's birthday, so I made sure that there will be someone who can do the thing for me. So I asked one happy story, story to document every moment. I chose one happy story because first, they're very dear to me. Second, I really love their work. Uh, it's a combination of sweet, candid, and they really capture the emotion at the moment. That's what I like about One Happy Story. And the last but not the least is to prepare the giveaways and the loot bags. With the loot bags, um, I bought, I just bought uh, paper bags from National Book Store and a bag full of candies at SNR. With the giveaways, um, I tapped Lunhao PH. I bought their... Uh, metal straw set a bag customized la labeled it uh, with the details of Kara's birthday so in organizing an event uh, make sure to know your budget make your calendar set a theme choose the venue uh, decide the add-ons and then print the invitations make the program decide with whether you'll have a photographer or not and then uh, prepare the giveaways and the loot bags. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have additional tips, additional steps, comments, and if you have suppliers that you can recommend, uh, please comment in this comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. And don't forget to hit that notification bell icon beside the subscribe button so you won't miss my next video. Once again, this is Melai. Thank you so much for watching. See you around, guys. Bye!